I'm Brett Williams, Emergency Response Coordinator for Direct Relief International, and just want to quickly explain our response to the cholera epidemic in Zimbabwe. Over the past six months, unfortunately, the health system in Zimbabwe has slowly been collapsing, partially due to a lack of medicines, lack of medical supplies, hyperinflation, political instability. All three of these things have come together, unfortunately, for the perfect storm of health crisis. Uh, nurses were unable to receive paychecks because of devalued money. Uh, hospitals were unable to buy stores because obviously the same issue. And unfortunately in the last few weeks, a cholera epidemic has broken out. Uh, there are sewer pipes actually in the capital which are exposed and unfortunately fecally contaminated water has been spreading throughout the major city in Harare. Uh, and what we're going to try to do is work with two of our partner networks inside Zimbabwe to respond to the immediate needs of the cholera epidemic and then try to infuse resources over the next few months to try to help get them back on their feet. Our plan is to respond with enough treatment and therapy to treat 10,000 of people affected with cholera. What we'll do is we'll send a combination of three things. Oral rehydration solutions, which are the most important in this situation because the cholera when you are infected with cholera, you get diarrhea, unfortunately, and vomiting. So there's a lot of fluid loss and dehydration is the major killer. Kids are uh, more susceptible than adults, as usual, unfortunately. So what we really want to do is provide an oral rehydration solution. Uh, Cerolite is the one we will use. Companies support us for a long time. They make fantastic products. Uh, if you are going to treat the cholera, obviously you need to clean the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide aqua tabs. These tabs are big enough to actually clean an entire well, and we're going to send 60 of these well tabs. But we're going to send around 100,000 individual tabs that people can take home and clean their water at their house. Each tab will clean one liter, so we're hoping to provide enough for 100,000 liters of clean water. And then the last thing, which is actually maybe the most important, is doxycycline. One dose of 300 milligrams will actually take care of the cholera. So what you'll do is, if one person in the family is affected, you can actually prophylactically provide everyone in the family with 300 milligrams and take care of the problem that way. So what we're doing is we're hopefully getting these things together as soon as we can, air freighting them to Harare Central Hospital, and hopefully taking care of the problem.